Hey, what's going on guys? It's me, Vet07, and today we're going to be uh, checking out Paw. So I actually forgot to make this video. Uh, insert spinning skeleton on the fan. Alright, um, I don't have an editor actually, so... I wish I did though. Alright, so yeah, I forgot to tell you guys, uh, the Paw was like, really OP and stuff. And like, you could like, easily get it. Alright, now let me, uh, explain to you why it's really OP really quick. So, it does like, really good damage. And, uh, it has really good cooldowns, so... And I just wanted to spin really quick, because I swear every time I do a ton summon, I get a paw fruit. And look what I got, a paw fruit. So, I actually didn't have one before I spun. Uh, so I wanted to do this in the video really quick. Uh, no paw on me. But, I pulled one first try, because they're that easy to get. And they're, uh, they're kind of OP, so... Uh, we're gonna go ahead and eat this over dough, because it's better. Uh, let's go over to a very common boss that you would farm for materials, so... Uh, this is Fugitive. This is the guy that drops Coral and uh, something else I forgot. Uh, let's let's use a PvE sword. So this is the best PvE sword. So uh, for raids, right, I'm going to show you guys how good this is in raids really quick. So there's like a, a test I like to do uh, on the second boss because the second boss only has like 750k or something like that. And you could like, you could just time yourself on how fast you could kill it with Paw. Uh, so let me show you really quick with just Fugitive, right? So... Uh, the damage, the first ability is is, is, is quite low, but this, you'll see that the damage stacks up fast. This is no accessory, right? I mean, the, the cooldowns are, are really fast. It just has a lot of DPS. Uh, I Honestly, this fruit is a little strong. I personally don't think an uncommon should be this strong. Uh, and then if we combine the fruit or our sword with it, it's a lot stronger. Especially Dofi glasses too. Dofi glasses make such a big difference. Like I'll show you really quick with Dofi glasses, thirty-five percent uh, damage increase. So the damage uh, increase is pretty massive here. So sixty-eight k. That's a lot of damage for a uh, uncommon fruit. So uh, what the heck just happened there? I think I just lagged right there. Anyways, yeah. So this is uh, this is very strong, but I won't be using Dofi for the raid. I will be using uh, crab armor so I don't die. So let's just see what the full combo does with both these sword, uh, with the sword and the fruit, and then we'll uh, compare it to some other awakens really quick. So uh, let's start with the the sword, and then once he falls back down, he's already quite high. So 86k paired with paw and um, an acro spear. Both both of these uh, have very fast cooldowns. Now let's compare that to magma. Um, also, here are my stats. Somebody might ask. Uh, here are my stats. There you go. Alright, not max fruit or sword, by the way. Let's finish them off real quick. So, 87k. Now, I think that magma is going to be a little higher, but it ain't going to be much. So, 87k with paw. And paw has, like, really good cooldowns. Also, magma does, too. That's why it's the best. It does really good damage with good cooldowns. So, this entire episode is me comparing the best to paw. I'll, I'll compare it to, uh, to some of the worst Awakens. Not some of the worst, but like some, some Awakens that are quite mid nowadays. So... I actually did less. Let me retest. No way. Maybe I missed something on accident. Let me, uh, let me retest really quick because, uh, let me, let me start with Annihilate into Magma Floor. So you actually, I can guarantee, like, most of the hits from that. Uh, but no way Paw is actually stronger than this. Holy Paw is broken. Okay, so... So, uh, 91k with Magma full... Full combo Magma. And, uh, full combo Acro Spear together. 91k. And Paw did, what, 87? Uh, I'm, I think that it might be a little broken. Paw might be a little broken. Uh, so, hold on. I was underestimating Paw a little bit. It might low-key be better than Gravity and Venom. Uh, let's try Ice, for example. So, Ice is, uh, is really good still. Not the best, but... Like I said, if you do the Ice Eruption glitch with C, like, jump above their head, put your cursor, like, on top of their forehead, and then, uh, you could, like, hit, like, 50k. I won't be doing that, though. Uh, I'll just see how much it does in general. So, we're gonna go ahead and go with this. Oh, wow. Okay, all right, let, me, let me try again, because I thought ice would actually stun him from being hit up. I guess not, though. All right. So, full combo ice. 76k, not bad. Not bad at all. 
Obviously, Pa did more, 87k. Let's try uh, Flame out. Flame, uh, Flame is honestly kind of weak nowadays. It used to be really strong, but it got like, it got like nerfed, like shadow nerfed a long time ago. I don't know when, but it just, I have a clip of it when it first came out. And it was doing like 80k full combo with like Dofi. And that wasn't even upgraded Dofi at the time. And I'm sure it won't even do 80k with Do upgraded Dofi now that we have. Like now that we have upgraded Dofi, it won't even do that much. Uh, Alright, let's try this again. So, I don't even know how to use Paw or this, to be honest. Seems like I hit everything. So, that's 70k. It Paw was 87. Uh, Paw was 87, and it has really good cooldowns. Uh, let's try, uh, what's another really strong fruit at the moment? Uh, we could try Doe. Actually, uh, yeah, we'll try Doe. I know Doe's full combo is higher, uh, but the the thing that with Doe is it takes a long time to do all that damage. Not a long time, but not the best raids. Okay. Alright. Let's get, uh, let's see if Doka beat a Pa. Uh, in my personal opinion, uh, I'm gonna say, uh, no. But hey. Surprise me, though. Let's see. Alright. I'm gonna start with, uh, Glutinous Bind. He still got knocked up somehow. That doesn't make any sense. Oh, I forgot. So, 67k plus what? Alright. So 70, uh, 75, what was that, 77, I don't even know, I already forgot, uh, so, like, it's like 75k, we'll just say 75k, because Loki, I just forgot what I just said, uh, so, uh, Doe is not stronger, um, the only thing that is stronger is Magma and Venom, and Gravity, like, like, the full combo of Venom is, like, super strong right now, I should probably make a video about this later on, uh, but I'll show you guys this, and then, uh, go and end the video, uh, die? Why? Why are they always like one shot? We need some stronger fruits, man. Alright. But feast your eyes on the best fruit in the game. So we'll use Acro Spear last. Uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with uh, Teleport, Viper Pit. So this is the highest burst in the game. So that was 94. 100,000, um, so this is the highest burst in the game at the moment, uh, this, this actually did test higher than magma, but magma is a lot easier to use, and then obviously gravity, I don't have gravity, but, uh, gravity is also, it's probably worse than paw to be completely honest with you, but gravity is up there, so hopefully you guys could see how OP paw is, and I'll if you guys aren't aware, I like to run this test where I kill basically the second raid boss, the guy with dark, and uh, it's only his first form, so he has two forms. I like to kill only his first form, and I like to time it. So I'll let you guys know the time. Um, I'll let you guys know the start to finish. And uh, what time is for Magma, because I, I forgot that I didn't have an extra paw fruit, or don't have it perm. So this first clip was supposed to be paw, but uh, it's going to be Magma. So here's Magma first, which is the best DPS in the game. And I'll be comparing it to an uncommon fruit that's unawakenable. The same sword, same accessory, same everything. Um, except for the fruits. The only thing that's changed is the fruits. Um, I will be testing um, basically the DPS and I'll be timing it. So uh, here's the magma time. Enjoy. Yeah, guys, so I'm a little slow, but it's okay. It still works out. So I actually uh, switched to magma because it's just a lot better uh, to just kill the first boss because I, I usually test on this boss because of his HP. So uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, test Magma right now. So I'll obviously speed this part up and tell you guys the time uh, after. Oops, I just sold by hitting him with that. Uh, hold up. Starting the timer. All right, start now.
All right, guys, so we got 150. So obviously you could do a lot better. Um, that's just that's just my first try. Like, I'm not going to attempt that multiple times. So that's what I got, 150. Um, I have gotten faster before uh, with Magma Acro Spear on that boss. Um, so not too bad. Uh, 150 is quite fast. Obviously, this is the best DPS combo in the game currently. Uh, and I'm going to be carrying, I'm going to be comparing the best to Paw. So Paw is like super easy to get and like outperforms every single thing in the game besides three things, which is Venom, Gravity, Magma. All right, guys. So uh, actually, I did the first boss about the same time as Magma, I feel like. Um, I'm telling you, bro, Paw is crazy. So after using it for about five minutes on the first boss, um, I know how to kind of like combo with this sword. And I know it like moves them around, so I'll, uh, as you see me fight with it, you guys can also learn yourself. Um, especially Acro Spear, like the first ability moves them up. So if you're gonna use it, you might as well pair it with Paw Explosion uh, because it will just, it, it, it will hit them at the same time. So uh, let's see our burst damage here. So with the sword, also you have to be careful because I can't aim it down too, too much. So like 90k burst, wait, that's actually a lot with this sword. Um, he's standing still so I can hit him with everything. Oh, that hit me, unfortunate. So, uh, the shot is, the shot is actually kind of nice because you could just use it in the middle of like everything. Like you always have it back. Like it's just so nice to have, like low key. Like, I feel like there's always something to use on this fruit. Like, it's really spammy, which is good because, like I keep saying, it has really low cooldowns. Oh, no, I don't want to walk in that. Like I said, though, just be careful that you don't go too high in the air and use paw brush. Or not paw brush, uh, red paw, because you can't aim it down a lot. My bad for the noti. The notification. All right, so we're, uh, we're doing pretty good. Um... Oh, I forgot to time it. It's okay. I'll go on editing and put it on the screen. I can also do that for Magma. But I feel like we're doing pretty good, though. Maybe. It's definitely going to be worse than Magma. Don't, don't get me wrong. But Magma is the absolute best in the game right now. Like, there's nothing better. And this is an uncommon fruit. It isn't awakenable. I mean, the damage is really good. The cooldowns are really good. It, paired with this sword, it's very good. Also, I mean, you could use uh, Phoenix Blade V2, but uh, I'm pretty sure Acro Spear is the best in the game now for DPS. All right, he's dead. All right, so I'll put it in editing. Uh, obviously, I don't know what I got because I didn't time it. I'm looking for it. So hopefully, you guys could see how OP Paw is, and uh, hopefully, you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys want to uh, have a chance to win Perm Dough, I'll be giving one at uh, 10K subs. All you gotta do is like and subscribe, and uh, it'll be announced uh, as soon as I hit 10K in my most recent video. Like, if I, as soon as I hit 10K, uh, I'll, at the start of the video, I'll say who won it. And if they don't claim it, I guess I'll have to redo it. I don't know. Uh, that would be kind of annoying. Uh, so good luck to everybody that uh, enters. Um, I'll see you guys later.